baseball. The Oakland A's are uh, a team that uh, the Red Sox have played. So uh, this is the deal, is that uh, the Oakland A's are moving apparently to Las Vegas. Their owner uh, does not care about the team at all. They were possums, literally possums, in the uh, the visiting uh, play-by-play guy's booth. And mm-hmm. so they had to move out of it. There's been sewage leaks. If you know the history of this organization, it's a joke anyway. Uh, they started in Philadelphia. They were there for years and years and years. Then they moved to Kansas City. Then they moved to Oakland. Now they're moving to Sacramento to a minor league AAA park. Right. And uh, the AAA park, they'll play there for not one, not two, mm-hmm. but three years. And not even this year. So the people of Oakland have to sit there and they're going to – well, not even the people of Oakland. They're not going to go. But the players – and Major League Baseball. Major League Baseball as an entity now is going to have a, a stadium that's just going to get knocked down after the season. So there's going to be no even basic sanitary things being done. Nothing to, like, upkeep nothing. I mean, there's no incentive to do anything because no one's going. Uh, the team is awful. So Major League Baseball has that blight. Then Major League Baseball has a Major League Baseball. Has got a team playing in some sac- in F in Sacramento for one thing, and and also has them playing in a Triple A ball- ballpark. If you're an owner of a team, there there there's n- nothing, almost nothing you can do to lose the power of of running that team there because the owners don't want that. The owners don't want you. They they don't want to set a precedent where you can get rid of other owners. They just won't do it. So like guys like Dan Snyder can go around for decades just acting like complete lunatics until they're kindly asked, could you please sell the team for billions of profit? So this is the jackass owner of the Oakland A's. John Fisher. The worst owner in all of sports. And you would think if you had the money and then you were sitting on that kind of money that you would want people to at least not hate you. Like, you know, <laughs> you have all, more money than you could ever do with, right? Like, there, there's, you would just think that, that that I own this baseball team. At least you would think that you like baseball, that you have a competitive streak, and that you want people to not hate you. So wouldn't you try to make this thing, which is really a public trust, like it's an investment, but it's it's really a part of the community. It existed before you. It's going to exist after you. Like it's it's the it's a part of the community. It's not like you're working hard for the money to come in either. It's not like you're busting your ass, climbing hand over fifty fist to get dollars. There are net there's network TV money that comes in. There there are a lot, and you're not paying anything. For well, that's payroll. why they have to stay in Sacramento, I guess, is because they can't move to like Nashville or something. Is because of the local that might be because of the local TV deal. So, uh, but the, but the thing is, is that. Like, if Major League Baseball doesn't have us, you know, under the impression that we're a part of this kind of, like, they represent our city, then they got nothing. Like, without the history of Fenway Park and the history of the of the Red Sox and being passed down generation to generation, there's nothing. It just ceased to exist. You know, these teams have only been around for 100 years. Human history goes back many more than that. Like, we will live in a society where baseball is not played. I mean, like it will happen. Now, we as individuals won't live in it, but our ancestors, people that share our energy, will uh, certainly live in that world. So here is uh, the owner of the Oakland A's s- sitting in Sacramento <laughs> talking about the glorious move to the AAA park. I just want to say how excited I'm, I am to be here in West Sacramento uh, celebrating a, a momentous day for this community and a momentous day for our 123-year-old franchise. Um, um, and at the River Cats, uh, you know, working with you guys has been a dream for, for our guys as well. No, it hasn't. It's a nightmare. <laughs> Everyone knows it's not. Shut up. Like, what an a-hole. Like, get out of here with that nonsense. Like, no one's happy about this, you dork. Like, you strong-armed the city, they said no, and now you're moving it. And by the way, you're moving it, and you're an incompetent, and you're going to fail in Vegas. No one wants you there. Hardy lived there and says it won't work. 
The other guy I know that lives in Vegas now and does sports says it's going to be an unmitigated disaster. I like their theory more than yours. Like, and, and then the, have you heard the pros for it? Like, ooh, it's going to be like this space age stadium. F you. I'm going to fly six hours to go watch a baseball game in July in the in the desert. It's 110 degrees. Get out of here. Yeah. It's not, but I got news for you. It's not a destination, stupid. Like, the, people aren't going to come out there in the summer to see a baseball game. People will go out for a football game. I think people will go out for a hockey game because yeah, it's... The city embraced the hockey team. It's a big enough city for a hockey team. Like, it's they have enough people to, to fill that arena. And it was the first one there. It was a market that was dying for professional sports. They got there. They planted their flag. People loved it. Congratulations, Golden Knights. The NFL is going to work wherever you put it. The NFL is set for Los Angeles. But the NFL is going to work anywhere you put it but Los Angeles. So people are going to go to Vegas. People would go to the moon to see an NFL game. So, I mean, it's in Buffalo, for Christ's sakes. They're building a new uh, stadium across the street from the old one in that neighborhood in Buffalo. I mean, you know that because drunken people are throwing themselves in the hole they're digging. A couple <laughs> other things that both those teams had going for them, Fred. Number one, you nailed it with the Golden Knights being the ones to plant their flag. It's a brand-new team. It's a brand-new thing. We're going to do this. It's our team. And, yeah. and they were good right away. That helps. The Raiders yeah. – already had a huge fan base in Las Vegas. So if you weren't counting on people flying in to see the visiting team, which they do, you're going to have people going to those games anyway. The Raiders were already a very popular team in Vegas and in L.A. and that part of the country. The Oakland A's? Who cares about the Oakland A's? Also, I'm not positive that how big the Raiders are going to be like 10 years from now, but that remains to be seen. There is a chance they could still be drawing people in. I don't know if it's going to be as big a sensation as it is now. I mean, think of Shake Shack. I mean, there used to be lines around the block. Now you can get into Shake Shack. Do the biggest whatever you want. fan base the Raiders have is in Los Angeles. Well, that's that was what everybody joked about, how when the, both the Rams and Chargers were moving there at the same time, yeah. Chargers was like, oh, are they going to be the second uh, most popular team? No, you're no they're going to be third. Yeah. And the Rams will be second, and the Raiders will still be first. Yeah. And the thing is, is that at least those, the Cronky, the horrible uh, Rams owner, at least was moving to L.A. because it's the second largest media market. He's not moving to Vegas to go. And the A's are a terrible franchise anyway, but here you go. Here's more of this guy pretending this is a good thing. Um, I want to thank Mayor Guerrero who uh, uh, and the whole West Sacramento community. Um... Oh, represent East Sacramento, not so much. Right. East Sacramento and North and South Sacramento have really uh, spit the bit. And um, and I just want to say we're, we're excited to be here for the next three years, playing in this uh, beautiful ballpark, uh, but also being able to be able to watch um, some of the greatest players in baseball, Aaron Judge and others, uh, launch home runs out of this. What a fan of the game. I mean, this guy, you can tell, is a student of the game. What? This moron, real with oh, uh, like no, what's a baseball player? Yeah. Uh, Aaron Judge, and then he can't think of anyone else. Whether they be athletics players or Aaron Judge and others, launch home right. runs out of this launch very home runs intimate, most intimate ballpark in Major League Baseball. I like home runs and things, and Aaron Judge. He can't think of one baseball player. Say, say it with me, Shohei Hotani. <laughs> Or how about people to, on your team? I know. That's the thing. He left everybody on his roster off. I would have named everybody on the lot roster. I would have named the AAA team. Yeah. I mean, this guy doesn't even like baseball. He's going. He's moving to a AAA ballpark of another franchise. Right. And when he's, Not even his AAA team. And when they team. write his obituary... There's gonna when they write his obituary in Oakland, when it's in the Oakland paper, it's going to be a celebration that he's dead. This is what the guy has bought himself. <laughs> Seriously, like, like, think about it. Like your legacy, like his legacy yeah. sucks now. His legacy isn't even going to be. You honestly think this team is actually going to wind up in Las Vegas at any point? No, they'll probably stay where they are now. I mean, Rob Manfred, for all the good he did last year with the rule changes, this is embarrassing. Oh. Aaron Judge and others uh, launch home runs out of this very intimate, the most intimate ballpark in all of Major League Baseball. For the next three years. Yeah, congratulations. It's the smallest baseball this park. You're playing in a, in a small park. Yeah. Congratulations. No, no seats beyond the wall. To a Good place where no one goes. Sacramento. No one. <laughs>
Like no one outside, maybe in Cal, I know it's the capital of California, maybe in California commerce is done there. What do I know? But I'll never go to Sacramento in my life. I'll never go there. And I won't be on my deathbed going, Sacramento. Yeah. Like my son comes up to me, Dad, I, I, I love you so much. Do you have any, before you leave, anything to tell me? Go to Sacramento. That's your bucket list. Go. Don't be like your father. Go to Sacramento. <laughs> the most intimate of ball. I mean, this guy is really, he's not even a good salesman. It is. Baseball players like uh, Aaron Judge, and they'll uh, hit homers. Big baseball owner. Could have bought anything. Could have done anything. Could have given all the money to the blind. And then, you know what? When he died, the blind, the people in the blind community would have been like, this is like a hero of ours. He, his money led to these technologies that have helped our the, the blind people so much. But no. There, He's there gonna was be a this, reason. This snake prick. That moved our team, this horrible team. Go ahead. There, there was a reason, too, that Sacramento wanted him because they want a Major League Baseball team. They want – they the owner of the Sacramento Kings owns this particular baseball team, owns this AAA team in Sacramento. They talked to him yesterday, and he was saying, yeah, I mean, we, we kind of see this as a dry run. If yeah. we can do this over the next three years, we think we can keep this team. Oh, absolutely. There's no question uh, about it. There's, I mean, if you got rid of 17 other cities that exist, maybe Sacramento gets one. And props to Ryan, who just emailed this to me. Does everyone already know this, that the Oakland A's minor league team, their AAA team, is in Las yeah. Vegas? Yes. Yeah, the they Las could have Vegas, played in Vegas. The Las Vegas Aviators in summer. Well, there was talk of why don't they play in the Vegas. I guess the Vegas minor league park is beautiful, too. I guess it's like this incredible stadium. It's always winning these stadium awards. There was talk of them playing there. There was talk, John, if you want to talk about ex- where the team could end up, why don't you play in Nashville for half the game? They've been ready for the last three years. I would imagine Nashville this year, you couldn't do it. But certainly next year, I mean, it's a West Coast team. Travel would be a hassle. But I think it... It could only, The reason they went to Sacramento has to be the, the television contract. I have to imagine it's the television uh-huh. contract. By, by the way, speaking of the TV contract, the, NBA, the uh, West Coast version of NBC Sports Boston, NBC Sports out in Oakland, was saying the way that the AAA team and the Oakland A's will co- well, the A's will coexist over the next three years, they may move the Sacramento team out of there for a while. And you know where they're going to play? The Oakland Coliseum. They're going to play games at the Oakland Coliseum while the A's play in their ballpark. It's just it's just a, a mess and a disaster, and they let this guy go for too long. I mean, you, the guy could build five stadiums if he wanted to. He could get financing and build five baseball parks if he wanted to. But but he's – I mean, it's really a shame. It's really a shame, and it's, it's, it's just how you – what you want your legacy to be. It's just fascinating to me, like, these billionaires would buy something – with the only intention of pissing off as many people as possible. Like, you could do, again, anything with that money. You could, anything to make money. Once you have a billion dollars, guess what? You're not losing it. Like, you could invest, put it in a savings account and get put 1% interest on it and, and make enough money five generations of people can live off of that oh john i mean let's be honest unless there's another like uh unless a asteroid hits the earth or there's another COVID that lasts for like 50, uh, an asteroid oh no if you like that clip check out more videos from toucher and hardy here point slightly up and to the left <laughs> for more red Sox analysis and opinion hit this playlist point slightly down and to the left And for all the latest from the Sports Hub, download the app at 98.5thesportshub.com.